Welcome back everyone, it's Low Start Plays here, and this is part 13 of my Little Nightmares playthrough. So yeah, in this part we are basically going to um, try and wrap up everything. In this part, um, I'm going to be going back, all the way back to chapter 1. And I'm going to try and um, get all the statues, hug all the... Um, Oh, I always forget what they are, the little white guys, and um, as well as light all the lanterns and try and get all the trophies all in one go. I don't know if this will be all in one part, or if this will be in two parts, I really don't know. It depends how long it'll take and how much I can cut out and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so this... If my planning goes right, should be the last um, Little Nightmares part. So yeah, the one thing I don't know is if I restart the chapter, if it'll count the all my already collectibles. For like example, uh, my Hug Gnomes one. I don't know if that'll count that or not, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. I guess we'll find out. I don't even remember which one I hugged, if you know. But I am going to use a guide, so I won't find these myself um you know i could maybe try and do that but i just want to save myself so much time and just just use a guy take it easy okay so I think what I'm going to do, I won't be obviously playing the entire story again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to where I get these items. Um, so yeah. You know, also just um, watching this bit makes so much more sense now. I remember when I started the game I had no idea what was going on but yeah, now I do. Because she turned the DLC character into a gnome. I'm pretty sure that's what you call the white guys. I'm not sure. But. Okay. I hear one of them. I don't know if the, you can hug this one. Because the guy doesn't say anything about hugging it. But Okay, so that's already lit. So that is one of the ones that you need to light. So um, I've already done that. So that means that I guess your things do save. But for an example, that's uh, the first lantern. All right. So I believe from uh, what I'm reading, we're coming up to one of the statues. Um, should be on my uh, on my character's left side. There it is. Okay. Gonna yeet you. Sweet, that's one more to go for them. I think I already got the achievement to bounce on the bed, yeah. Um, so there's that. I might in the description leave a link to the v uh, video that uh, has helped me too. Just because, you know, I, um, it's just nice. A thing to do I guess all right so yeah angelic angelic wings um already told me to do that uh, ages ago to bounce on the um the mattress for that secret trophy and I thank you for that okay so we need to open this fridge but apparently there's something to my right before continuing on Apparently there's like a lantern, I think. And I think you can hug this one. I don't know if I got this one or not, but there we go. I guess I hadn't because I hadn't lit that either. So uh, yeah. We're getting probably a good way through already the first chapter. Okay, so I think I'm coming close to another lantern. Here we go. Okay, 
Hang on. It might be glitching a bit. There we go. So there goes another lantern. Okay, so here's the next lantern after you climb that uh, little rope thing. There we go. Okay, so there's the next lantern. You can see it right there. I think I got this one because it's already lit. Uh, but that doesn't matter because we're actually getting close to another one. So, well, there's what that lantern. Let me just, uh, actually, just, just in case. Alright, I just wanted to make sure I couldn't light it. So apparently... Instead of going up, you can actually go down here to the right. And go down here. And this leads you to another one of these gnomes and a uh, lantern. So there we go. I think we only have one more left of them to hug in this chapter. There we go. That's now lit. Okay, so apparently the last statue is actually down this way. Um, all the way in a secret room. I think I went to this room in my playthrough, but I did not break the statue because I just, I didn't know what was, uh, what you had to do with them. Like, for example, right here, and then front, and there you go. So that's all the statues in chapter one. Uh, so yeah. We're almost finished getting all the collectibles in chapter one now. Okay, so there's the next lantern. So we just gotta light that. There we go. Ooh, light up your life. I got a trophy. I wonder if that's for doing all the lamps in um, chapter one. Okay, so I think we're getting close to maybe... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Here was the next lantern, but uh, we had already done that. And, um... I guess this was the uh, gnome guy that we did before, because uh, remember it said one out of three. I did the other two before. Uh, what you had to do is you had to release one out of here, and then he would go all the way back to the um, other uh, room with the cabinet, and you would have to hug him that way. Um, I must have already done that or something. Uh, for an example, he would be... Um, right here and you would have to hug him but yeah i guess i've done that so um that must be chapter one done um so yeah okay so if we zoom up on chapter one now where you can see that we got uh, all the gnome statues as well as the um the lanterns it doesn't show you that uh but yeah as well as you could get the achievement um the one for jumping on the bed uh, so yeah, I guess we'll do uh, chapter 2 now. Actually, very quickly. Uh, so, I haven't hugged any of the gnomes, but I have broken one out of the two um, statues. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, you need to go into this room for the first collectible. And, yes, that guy will run. Uh, let's go over here. The first lantern of the chapter is there. Let's go over here and move the chair. So yeah, I will put the guide that I am using in the description if anyone wants to use it. It's a really good guide because it covers basically everything. Uh, so yeah. Right, let's go through in here. And... It, um, you can chase this gnome guy out. You have to in order to hug him. I actually did make it to the secret room in my actual playthrough. But, um... I did not hug this gnome and I don't know why. Unless I just missed him or something. Maybe I just didn't know you could hug them. Or understand how to hug them. Welp. Okay, so this time let's not uh, run off the staircase and die. Uh, that would be really unfortunate. Uh, where did he go? And you can see him right there. There we go. So that, I think, was one out of three. Yep, 
And he's following me like in the DLC, that's kind of cool. Now, I believe there's a statue in here that we can get. I don't know if I've got this one, because I did have one out of two. Oof. I really suck at uh, this bit. Okay, there we go. That takes forever to try and get up on this thing. But now that we're up here, we can go up here. And, aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Here's the statue. So this is the last one for this chapter for me. There's another one later on, but I've already got it. So there we go. There's that. Okay, so there's the next lantern. We've already lit that one. Okay, so there is actually a ladder here. This is where I thought it would be. We're going to climb up this ladder. And as you can see, there is this gnome here. No, I did not want to jump. I'm really bad for pressing X at the very ends because I, I get real used to like a lot of other climbing games where when you press X they like jump up but not jump down. Alright. So, there we go. There's another gnome. I can't remember if that was the last one or not. I guess we'll find out sooner or later okay so uh, now that I'm in the library I'm actually close to the last gnome I believe the last gnome is ah uh, there he is so you, you go under there and uh, then you go over here and he's behind this yeah and there there you go then it's the last gnome for this chapter f um, there's also a way to get a trophy and a um, torch up here Oh, so I already got the candle here. Okay. Uh, but I did not get the achievement, I don't think. And that is to um, jump onto the piano. Basically do what you did in the DLC. That is to uh, walk across the uh, the keys. And there you go. You get a silver trophy for that. <gasps> oh, well, I tried to grab the bookshelf again, but it didn't work. So if we go to look into chapter 2, uh, we see where that we've got everything that's listed there. So yeah, now I guess uh, we'll move on to chapter 3. Alright, so what do we do in chapter 3? Oh, we've hugged all the gnomes in this one and we just need to smash two statues. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, of course, we also got the lanterns and um, maybe a trophy. I don't know if there is a trophy, but maybe. Now, let's go down this way, and there should be a hole here, we can go down here. And yeah, look, there's right, there's a statue right there. So I think we, after this one, we only need one more statue. I think, I can't remember how much we needed now. But there we go. Now this trophy might be somewhat hard to get. We've got to try really uh, well with this one, and you cannot die. So anyway, we're going to pick up the carrot. Got to go over here. We're going to throw the carrot in real quickly. There we go. And we're going to get the fish head. Boom. So now all we need is the cheese. Which is actually up here. So I've been doing this specific one for a while. Run. Unfortunately the cheese uh, dropped and I grabbed a wine bottle instead. 
It's going to make this a lot harder because now it's on the side that he works on. But you can at least see it. Go, we got the cheese. Oh dang, did not go in. Oh, that was close. But it's right there where we need it at least. So let's go hide under here again. I don't know why, the cheese is really hard to throw in there and I have no idea why. Like the amount of times I've tried to throw it in there and it just does not go into the pot. Okay, now let's try again. So you see what I mean? There we go, it's in. Aha, still got the trophy, okay. There we go, that took forever to do, no joke. That was insane. All right. So apparently the next light and the statue is in here. I think I got these, but we'll just climb through. So I got the light and yeah, I got the statue too. So yeah, there's that. And that thing up there, I remember climbing up there trying to hug that thing that's dead, the uh, gnome, but uh, yeah, you don't actually do that, so... Oops. Okay, so I am pretty much down here now. This is the bit where I compared it to Star Wars, number four. And the last statue for uh, this chapter, I believe, is in here, so... Yeet. Okay. Oh, I got a trophy. I don't know if that's for destroying all the um, statues or not. I don't remember if, th if I've done that. I don't know how many I still need. So maybe that was, maybe that's not. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there's that. Okay, so uh, if we look here very really quickly, uh, we got everything there. So yeah, there, that's good. Um, so yeah, it looks like we did get all the statues now because we've got two out of two in that chapter and one out of one in that chapter so that must mean we've smashed all the statues so that means it's just hugging um one gnome is left uh, and maybe some candles i don't know so uh, yeah let's uh let's get into this one all right so i just made it towards the end of um chapter three now something that really annoyed me um with chapter three and four is that if you exit chapter three you cannot get the collectible at the start of chapter four because it kind of takes you somewhere else so uh yeah um don't exit three if you don't have the the collectible at the very start of four because I, literally what I had to do is I got everything in chapter 3, I got a good 3 quarters way through. And then, um, then I left to go to chapter 4, but it starts you off a little, a little bit after the collectible. So you actually have to finish, um, chapter, um, 3 in order to get this next collectible. But you actually go, I believe, in through here. And this is where you get your last, um white guy and a uh, light or lamp whatever but I actually got enough lamps because I got the trophy earlier on there we go that is the last uh, little lost things trophy a little last gnome guy um so yeah I don't know what else here's one more trophy for the base game which is gold and I'm gonna see how to get that see if I can get it Alright, so I basically collected everything in the base game. Um, there's one more trophy to get, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get it. It's uh, a gold trophy, and in order to get it, you have to beat the entire base game within an hour, and uh, no deaths. And to me, that is going to take... That probably I'll never be able to get, uh, to be honest. So, yeah, I'm not going to go for that trophy, unfortunately. Um, sorry about that. 
But uh, yeah, if we go to our uh, concept art, um, I believe we uh, have a lot to look at. That's actually kind of cool seeing those guys. But yeah, I. It's a shame, I'll, but at least there's no platinum because then I really want to go for it. But I don't know. I I don't think I will go for it. I cleared all the stuff for the base game at least. Um. So yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of these concept arts. These remind me a lot of, the, like, the Spyro concept arts. This is, like, a, um, the Hideaway DLC. Yeah, and this is the, uh, Residence. That was creepy. That's quite cool, that, all that art. Oh, actually, it did not show us all of it for some reason. I didn't realise they had eyes, unless they don't. It's just concept up after all. That's cool. I still like the chefs quite a bit. I think still my favourite chapter though was number four. And that's including the base game and the DLC to be honest. I really... That was creepy. That was definitely one of the creepier stuff to the first DLC. So that must be him, like, with, uh, the guy that was chasing you in the first DLC. We never got to figure out what was a female, too. That's a shame. Sh the one that's in the first DLC. This part is going to also be really tricky to edit, I think. But, uh, yeah. That is everything. So... Thank you for watching everyone, this was Low Start Plays, playing Little Nightmares, this was the final where we basically collected all the collectibles in the base game, so yeah, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next series, I'm absolutely happy that I managed to play through this, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it, and um, if I'm still doing YouTube by uh, the time that number 2 comes out, then I'll most definitely be playing it, so yeah. Feel free to leave a like, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Bye.